I'm going to show you how to combine your four perspective drawings into one cubist work. First of all, what you need to do is you need to divide your picture up into several sections. So on each picture, or each drawing, sorry, you are going to draw at least three to four lines. I would, if I were you, draw a few more. It gives you more to work from later. You'll understand what I mean. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. So I'm going to draw several lines over each section. Make sure you use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, don't worry. You can use anything with a straight edge, such as a book. I've done a lot more than four. I would also recommend that some of you do that too um, if you would like to challenge yourself a little bit further. Okay, on my next page, I am going to draw several lines. The more you draw, so the more lines I, do, I draw over my page, the more challenging my artwork will be. So the more I'm challenging myself, by the more lines that I draw onto my page. So I'm creating further sections. Oh, sorry, make sure your lines, or try to make sure at least that your lines are um, straight. Okay, I'm happy with the amount of lines I have on this page. What I now need to do is I'm going to choose sections from this page and transfer them over to this page. I might change, so I might rotate um, parts of the image. So let's say I want to draw this section here, this line here. On this one, I might choose to change the angle, so I'm going to do it this way instead of um, portrait. So I've just changed it to landscape, that's fine. I need to add some of the shading bits onto that. Okay, um, I might choose to do this section here. Instead of going that way, which is the way I see it, I'm gonna go the opposite. I'm going to do one last one. I'm going to choose, uh, sorry, that's split up there, isn't it? I'm going to choose this section here. Um, and I'm going to draw it. Actually, I'm going to draw it here. Think about the composition of where you're, where you're placing um, your objects, uh, your drawings too, because you kind of want it to look a bit like a puzzle where the person's trying to work out the viewer is trying to work out what's actually, what is this image of? What is this cubist work of? Okay, by the end, you should have each section of your, your cubist work filled in with only images or only sections from here. So sections from here, you can transfer them to here. Do not apply any colour just yet. That is what we will be doing next week. If you do have any questions, uh, please talk to me on Show My Homework. Good luck.